And I think it's, and you see also the uh, rise of fundamentalism as well, everywhere. You know, America is, you know, half of America is now what they fear the most in the, you know, it, it is a fundamentalist thing. We've just seen the Supreme Court, you know, uh, support another fundamentalist. Um, so I think the fear of the uncertainty, here it is, fear of uncertainty. You can, some of the communities you collapse into fundamentalism, the Bible, the Quran, women in their place, you know, that's one God, you know, that's one zone of comfort. Another is, it's a shark pool I'm going to get for me, I'm going to be okay. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at number one is my only project. And then there are a few stupid people, like maybe you and me, who realize that your security comes from your community. And we're, I think we're going to see a three-way um, cultural conflict, very much like Europe from you know, 1500 to, God, 1648, the end of the Thirty Years' War. The Thirty Years' War being the worst time in Europe where all the religious, the differences in beliefs, you know, caused differences in beliefs amongst people who were the same, caused terrible. Thing. I, I, this is not going to be an easy does it gentle transition. And I think, any, I think it's naive, as, as a student of history, it is naive to think it will be anything other than very brutal and ugly. And you don't really know how it will, in the end, come to a finish. I mean, after all, it was a hundred years ago, this time of year, that Europe launched itself into what looked like an adventure. And it wasn't, was it? You don't know.